Congresswoman Madeline Berdayo spoke strongly earlier today at a Rotary Club luncheon on a variety of topics. One such topic that she covered was the big disappointment over the loss of the Tiger Grant for $50 million for the Guam Port Authority. She says she was in Washington with Governor Camacho recently trying to find reasons to why this application was turned down. I am requesting that DOD use its funding to cover the uh, 50 million needed for the port because of its importance to the military buildup. And they have said yes, they would do this. Berdayo says it could be as early as a couple of months for Guam to see this money surface. However, Senator Tom Atta, who has oversight of the port, is concerned about the source of this funding. Atta says they were banking on getting that federal grant, and since its denial to date, after having multiple teleconferences, no new monies have been found. Atta says DOD has identified $20 million, but for repair and maintenance. We don't need to repair and maintain. We need to knock down 40-year-old structures rebuild it, we need to expand our yard, and those are normally projects that are not eligible for Department of Defense funding unless we're going to make it a Department of Defense installation, and that certainly is not where we want to go. Reporting for Guam News Watch, I'm Jennifer Abago.